The next step is that we're going to remove this energized sensor outside of the oral cavity and we're going to scan it by a ruby laser. This will be inserted as I will show you in another video. This will be inserted in a scanner hmm, that will expose this part of the sensor to intensive uh, uh, photoiodide light. So, the already energized photons from the uh, uh, phosphor from the uh, photons will receive this light. Huh? It will stimulate the energized phosphor to emit the basic energy received from the photons, which will be in the form of light. So, photons their energy stored here in phosphorus. You place this in the scanner, you expose it to uh, laser light, it will, this ener extra energy will stimulate the already energized phosphor to emit its stored energy into light. So what we have done now is that we have changed the photon energy into light energy. What we have done now is we have changed the photon energy into light. The amount of light which is emitted is equal to the amount of energy which was basically absorbed from the photons. So, uh, image uh, areas that have received abundant amount of photons, that is of the soft tissue, will, will, will release more light than those areas which did not receive, like for the instance for the animal.